Welcome to My Art Speaks and welcome to another episode of My Art Wednesdays. I am happy that you joined me again today as we continue to discuss the principles of my art. Again, if you are new to my channel here on My Art Speaks, we aim to bring my art, also known as balance, back to our communities through the seven principles of my art, which are truth, order, justice, balance, harmony, reciprocity, and righteousness. During my Odd Wednesdays, we take a deeper dive into the principles so that we can learn how to apply these principles in our daily lives and use them to build unity in our families and community. Today, we will be discussing order. I like to discuss order because we all need a little more order in our lives, right? But more than that, order symbolizes balance, and it is achieved through balance and harmony. We will continue reading from the book of the 14 Keys, Power, Unity, and Success Unlocked. Remember, family, as we embark on self-transformation, we self-reflect, acknowledge the changes we need to make, and apply the changes needed on a personal level, which can have a great impact on our relationships and affect how we develop a code and culture in our own homes and community. So again, Ma'at, the Netaret or Goddess of Divine Order, Truth, Balance, and Justice, teaches us how to bring balance and order into our lives through the seven principles of Ma'at in order for us to reclaim who we are and make the most of our lives and manifest in the subconscious and conscious world. So let's talk about the principle of order. Before we begin to discuss order, I do want to remind you that in this series, we are discussing the seven principles of Ma'at, and we have already discussed the principles of truth, justice, reciprocity, harmony, and balance. If you have not seen the past few videos in the series, I do suggest you check out those videos first. So let's discuss order. As you know from previous videos, I love to define words, so let's define the word order. The Google definition of order is the arrangement or disposition of people or things in relation to each other according to a particular sequence, pattern, or method. So when we look at the etymology of the word order, we see that it was used as a verb to mean give order to, arrange in a row or rank, and not just as we think of it today as to command. But when you really think about it, when you command someone to do something, you are trying to get them to do something in order for a specific purpose, like when we command our children to do a specific task. So I have said this before, in order to get to the order or the structure, chaos must exist. But as long as there's chaos, there's no balance. Ma'at has not yet been achieved. But let's not confuse confusion with chaos. So what is chaos? It's the feminine principle that expresses itself through the process of potential energy transforming into kinetic energy. Through the process of chaos, all life comes into being. All thoughts become words. All words become actions. So in essence, out of darkness. When we look at comedic science or spirituality, we see that everything spirals from internal to external and from the hidden and undefinable or source, which first vibrates and then moves into a state of existence before creation, which is an undifferentiated state of potential, or what we call the primordial sea or waters of Nun, a chaotic state. This is the process of creation from non-vibratory to a vibratory state. As above, so below. 
But understand, if left unchecked, chaos can easily turn into confusion. We have to learn when to identify chaos and not travel too deep into the waters of chaos that can ultimately lead to confusion. It is said that creative changes and big shifts occur right at the edge of chaos. But do you know when you are in chaos? Your body knows when it is in chaos. What is that chaos telling you? When your body is in chaos, it shows up as dis-ease in the body. If you ignore the signs, it causes the confusion that can ultimately lead to death. But if you use that chaos as direction, you can use the masculine principle of order to create balance in the body, which we learned from the last video on balance, which is to keep oneself in equilibrium. Let's look at this on a relationship level or even as a collective. Think of it this way. In a relationship, chaos will exist when there is a need for a balancing act, a need to apply harmony to the relationship. What you do with that chaos is up to you and your partner or the members of the collective. Chaos can and should actually create greater bonding and social cohesion between individuals. They say this happens because chaos often produces stress and in small amounts causes our body to release oxytocin, which is the same hormone released during intimate moments and when bonding with our baby. What we need to understand is that the potential energy is the female principle also known as chaos and is arranged through the masculine principle of kinetic energy, order. The chaos is the potential energy needed to direct the energy into the action. Remember last week we discussed that there is no energy greater than the other. Both serve a particular purpose. While order is necessary to arrange the chaos, arrange thoughts in order to put them in action, also understand there is no kinetic energy without potential energy. There is no order without chaos. There is no action without it first being a thought. Also understand that order is necessary for that potential energy, chaos, to create change, to take action, to move towards balance. So let us continue diving deeper into the Ma'atic Principle Order from the Book of the 14 Keys, Power, Unity, and Success Unlocked by Chief Yuan. Order. Order is a procedure of arrangement. It is the differentiation and compartmentalization of higher energy into lower energy. Consider the process of narrowing and converging a collection of thoughts into a single idea. The thoughts would cast a form of countless feasibility because they have not yet been rallied into an action. Once the thought or high energy is focused into a physical action or lower energy, that action or physical embodiment will be imbued with only the determined idea. This is one reason meditation is so arduous for some. When one decides to observe mental trajectories, they are viewing the recurrent thought traffic that occurs in the mind before unfolding. Establishing order incorporates the consignment of the divine creative spirit. The creative essence is chaotic in nature. Its amorphousness gives all the ore for conception we need to bring forth the meant forces of creation. Chaos is the stimulus for creativity. Once creation occurs, chaos gives way 
to defined order. Those defined forces are what we discern as life and existence. Order defines the feminine chaos. Order is masculine in character. Both are needed to begin the enterprise we call life. Before order, the unceasing movement of energy is random and distends into the non-existence of the abyss. It is boundless and has no orientation of position. Once a call for definition is placed into the void, light discharged into darkness, the chaotic energy will condense and slow its vibratory rate. Particles begin to slow up and form shapes. These shapes are what make up what we perceive to be our mental, then physical, factuality. Order is a stealing of neuro-spiritual particles. When we establish order, we are establishing definitions. Those definitions can grow and clarify themselves from their point of fabrication because until they reach their apex of existence, they are still condensing. To simplify, consider the journey of a child to an adult, to an elder. There is a journey from thought to soft flesh, to harder flesh, back to soft flesh, and then an eventual dissipation of atoms again. When order is established, infinite possibility is cropped into the path of creation. Order is a slenderizing of the road or tightening down of the determinations in front of us. As mentioned before, truth is at the centrality of our existence. Once creation is formed, figment takes the place of the truth of indistinctness. The five senses conceal that in case life, in reality, is counterfeit. The actual essence of a force or thing is the truth. Once definition befalls, that essence is buckled in a veil of order. This is not to say that order is a detrimental thing. Order helps us to define and question our potential. As we are living in a spiritual world alongside a physical one, it is important for us to invest in the freedom of chaos and also rejoice in the balance that comes from physical order. Physical order is necessary to establish unity. Through order, we redefine the many demonstrations of all working parts. Ordering our brain works and categorizing the spiritual energy around us is necessary for us even to intend ourselves. The order that exists around us, or lack thereof, reveals the current level of mastery we have above our minds. The more we can order our thoughts, the greater our productive potency. This is the end of the chapter. Next week during Ma'at Wednesdays, we will discuss the principle righteousness. Again, if you would like your own copy of Chief Yuwa's book, the link is in the description. Comment below and give me your thoughts, family, on how we can continue to create order from chaos and how we can apply this to our relationships and community. Thank you for watching. Peace, family. See you next time.